G'day, you came back. It's Monday. We are doing some more things on that. There's a job outside that I talked to you about in yesterday's video that was a essential job. It's a break thing on a thing. Look, those pieces are missing. Remember, I told you I put those in to make it look better. And actually, that one looks taller than that one. But never mind, we'll resolve that soon. Yesterday's video, we got these panels here in. We got that, that a little bit there in. This morning, off camera, didn't bother filming it. Some uh, more of the original, which side's that one? That's that side there. That bit there disappeared. That's gone. It's out of the way, makes life easier. Same on this side. Probably still replacing this, don't worry. Talk to you about these front guards, squaring these up a little bit. And look at that, there's, there's something to do here. Don't worry, this bit right there that's wrong the rest of it's not too bad so we've ended up because the car starts off quite narrow and it actually goes wider and if you follow the panel line of the vehicle like i've done there just tried to go at the see where it says bearings there it changes direction i've tried to line the top of this up with that more feng shui etc um because i did that and kept the panel the same width pretty close it was out by a couple of millimeters but it's 155 mils wide here and it ran all the way to the end and what ended up happening was it was following that line which if we stand back here and look at that it goes out that way and so the outside edge of our guards here wandered off out into oblivion not as far as that the 15 mils or something there just out there it wasn't a big deal it was like that for four years I'm not sure why I never bothered doing anything with it right at the time when I built the car. But I've done something with it now. And of course that came back to... I can show you what we did. Our old mate, Mr. Stainless Steel Bar. Put it on the inside of the guard. Not the side. Inside. Put a piece on the outside to clamp it. G-clamps on it. Smack them over with a hammer. Done. Because there's no way this is going back in the folder once this has all been shrunk and stuff. Not my folder anyway. So, and that's the easiest way to resolve that. Could have just made a whole other one from scratch, but what's the point? We've got it sorted out now. This side I did try. That's why she's not very shiny and good at this end versus rough polish at that end. To try and shrink it with the shrinker to pull it around. That was just going to take all day. I got a couple of millimeters out of it and I was like, now nah, this is way too much effort for what we're trying to achieve here so I didn't bother with that on the other side which is just raw unpolished aluminium of course as we take away distance from this edge here which is about you can sort of see where the original fold was it was down here somewhere and you can see where the hammer marks are and all that sort of carry on haven't cleaned it up yet obviously uh, because we've taken that distance and added it to here just tried to twist this panel around here as we folded it and so this has been put on the shrinker shrunk that all back there left this coming out a little bit it's not vertical it's got some camber i guess you could say the side lines up significantly better than the other side but still needs a little tweak in this area here not going to make that one piece with that because that would become a rather large bit of stuff even in aluminium it's just going to start getting a bit hard to work with and manage so i'm going to take this off right now i'm going to fill in that gap there well, it's about, about there actually because that stands out looks terrible needs fixing while we wait for parts for our thing which i'll tell you what it is later that's sitting outside I keep going with this one. So I didn't get very far with that. And the courier turned up with the bits. So I need to get on with that other thing. That's significantly better than what we had before. That can be sorted out with a sensible amount of filler. Before we make our moulds for our fancy carbon fibre. If we go there. If we don't go there. A bit of fake carbon fibre wrap or... or colour vinyl or whatever over the top of that 
It's going to look a lot nicer than it did. More things to sort out though. We're not done yet. That needs reconfiguring so it fits that better. That edge there probably needs to come out a tiny little bit. And then this entire edge down here needs to be clocked out that way just a little bit to line everything up nicer with what we've done here. Ideally this part, this flare, needs to come out far enough to make sure we actually cover the entire tyre because as it stands at the moment we aren't and if somebody wanted to get really fussy and go by the letter of the rule that technically that doesn't comply that area that you could see that's about from there through to about here somewhere that's only you know this wide by the rules that doesn't comply so we should sort that out but this is all looking a lot nicer yep all the fun and games so gq patrol going for a low volume vehicle cert not passing brake test big mud tires on it it's got upgraded brake rotors upgraded brake discs it's actually harder to say than what you would think and not stopping very good and by the time you do about the third time she's yeah nah sitting there with it idling engine idling put your foot on the brake pedal pressing relatively firm not going nuts with it eventually the pedal goes to the floor dead giveaway that there's probably something wrong with your master cylinder i mean some modern cars tend to do that a bit but you see that that means there's brake fluid leaking from your brake master cylinder coming down your reservoir the uh your booster taking paint off now the customer suspected there was a problem with the booster he and a colleague were trying to diagnose it um, and they they bought a new one so i'm going to fit that anyway might as well he's got it there's no sense trying to return it at the moment it can't do any harm putting a brand new one on it could be a problem with the, the vacuum booster as far as the actual ability to stop it could be a problem with that plus a problem with the master cylinder i suspect the seals are a little bit worn on that and the fluid is bypassing and it's not actually wet there but there's funky stuff there so that's no good these are relatively cheap put a new one in while we're there we'll put that in we'll see if we can resolve this problem for them gaskets for spacer between booster and firewall they're not going to be much good so it's a four-wheel drive it's probably going to go for a swim at some point in time and uh we don't want it leaking even if it doesn't go for a swim crossing forging a river or whatever fording fording a river um the rainwater is going to come down the firewall and leak and come inside and not good so jointing paper gasket paper make new gaskets fun 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 beautiful that puppy goes on there it's quite hard to do one-handed oh, disaster Just being silly when you put these on there's an, a um, water slash fluid drain hole put it at the bottom don't put it at the be a disaster when you're putting your gasket on use the spacer don't try and do it with your hand especially one-handed come on gotta make the other one now actually so i take that back off and carry on back to the rock 2000 while i do that all right running out of time for today um Booster and Master Saunder in this in this patrol. You guys recognise that patrol. And partially bled up. Haven't done it properly yet. Basically, I've just pushed the pistons back into the calipers and that pumps fluid through into the Master Saunder and gives you a bit of a bleed. It's not really guaranteed 100% successful. So, yeah, it's like 5.30. Got to knock off. I'll finish this off tomorrow. All right. 
Cheers, bye.